おばは小さな会社の社長です。おばは小さな。small company leader? おばは小さな会社の社長です。No idea what おば mean, but、uh... Oh, okay. おば mean and. Okay. My aunt is the president of a small firm. Okay. Hello, fellow linguistic warrior. I'm Fruo, the one in charge of Japanese. Today is the ninth day of the third term, or in other words, it is day 51. As of today, I will continue with the Japanese call 2003, and afterwards, we'll try to get in about 10 pages of r a m a r from the Taking Guy. Yeah, that should l e a v e us. As usual, if you have a good m e m o r i c about any of the kanji, please、uh, don't hesitate to share it. Uh huh. Younger brother, stand together. Okay. Ototo wa kitte wo atsume teimasu. Koe. Voice, right? Yeah, voice. We have the samurai and, like, I guess the flag. Yeah. Okay. 彼は大きな声で話した初めて A close, yeah, the right, the, the right of path, that means close. And then we have like a knife, yeah. So I guess from my experience, it is a common to use a scissors to cut the clothes, yeah. So using a knife to cut the clothes is, I guess, a bit less common, but、uh, using the clothes. To cut the knife is definitely the first time. Yeah, and that's the mnemonic, right? It's your first time hearing about cutting a knife with clothes. Yeah. And he may say, right? Okay. Tokyo ni kuru no wa hajimete desu. Okay, Tokyo, right? The capital city of Japan, the current capital city of Japan. So I did a search yesterday and it does seem like, like Kyoto used to be the capital. And Tokyo is the new capital. And like, Tokyo is very like in the east side of Kyoto. So I guess that's why we have a kanji that means the east and the kanji that means the capital to make it like the eastern capital. Yeah. Anyway, we, for the east, we have a tree. Yeah, a tree. And then We have this path here, I mean the sun. Yeah, and this one means the east. So, tree and sun plus、uh, tree plus sun equal east. So, you are climbing up a tree to have a good view of the sun rising from the east. Yeah, that's the name. Okay, yeah, this one is capital. Okay, nothing, nothing of note here. Akiraka. Clearly, right? This one is a na adjective. Akika. Aki. This one means bright. And then Akiraka means clear and obvious. Okay. Akiraka ni kare ga w a r i Okay. So, like, it's clearly that he is bad, right? Or it's his fault. His fault, or it is his bad. Yeah. So, I seem feel pretty strange about the me particle here because, like, in my mind, it is usually associated with like a place or if not a place, at least a time, right? But for Akiraka, I see like an adjective to go with the particle me here is. 
uh, I am not saying it is wrong, but it does seem like a bit strange at the moment. Yeah. Ichibu. One part. Okay, one part. Okay, Henko, Henko, okay, let's see here. Hen to change. And then the second one is to change as well. No, ah, okay, the second one looks like it, right? I mean, this one has a lot of meaning. Like, it could be like. Yeah, let, just, uh, let me show it. Yeah. It's uh, even here. It uh, it could mean in succession, like something again and again. Happen again and again. Yeah. That's the meaning. So like, we have something change, and it happened again and again, and then it also have a meaning of like renovation. Yeah. So I guess lately we have encountered quite a few kanji that they have a lot of meaning. But like picture of the meaning is like completely different. Yeah. Anyway, I guess uh, for this one that means to change the closest meaning we can think of is like renovation. Yeah. Or like again and again. So, so just to make change again and again and this means to change part of the plan. This one actually means like modification here. Yeah. If you look at the tool tip of the T chan mic. So yeah, if you talking about the radical or the shape or the mnemonic, I still feel this one look like a dynamite switch, right? So we angle this previously actually. So if we we just add a person in here, is a kanji in the word uh, post office, right? And it means convenient. But uh, today it is uh, just a dynamite switch. So like. This make me think of the scene in the Dark Knight Rise movie, right? So the Joker come out of the hospital, yeah, and he keep pressing the detonator in his hand again and again, but the hospital didn't blow up right away, right? It take a while, and then there's pause, and then <laughs> the explosion keep going, and then finally destroy the hospital. But yeah, his uh, reaction during the pause is. It is, it is very funny and memorable. Okay, anything else here? No, okay, Move, moving on. Chosa. This one is... The, the president, the company, and then long. And then he become company leader and president. No, okay. Chosa. Ah, okay. The, the one that one thing by Sacho, right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So this one being investigation in in really, okay. Ooh, okay. I <laughs> the last two days were pretty busy for me, so I didn't have a chance to write them down like fifty times. So yeah, it show. So it show like yeah, I didn't put in enough work because I get it wrong. Hmm. Anyway, this investigation. So this second word here means to investigate. So we have a tree, and this one qualified as an eye, right? So an eye in a tree, like looking in the tree or looking in the brush, in the bushes, or like evidence he, to investigate. Yeah. Or you could think of like mm, looking at the tree with. Uh, no, I mean, uh, investigate the tree with just your naked eye, reveal the uh, suspicious top hat. Yeah, because uh, this uh, second part here kind of look like a top hat, yeah. That's why that's, I, I go with that mnemonic. Anyway, so for the first kanji, again, we have a kanji that have a lot of meaning. So for this vocabulary, it means investigate, okay? but. It could also mean like a key or a tune, yeah, musical tune. So that's why I guess, yeah, key tune, yeah, maybe, yeah, pitch tone key, and like they quite another number of meaning as well. So 
uh, anyway, for now it is to investigate. So we have speech, and this one means circumference, circumference, right? Circumference. So uh, I guess the mnemonic I come up with is like before the speech, the police investigate the circumference of the audience area for any sign of uh, normality yeah yeah that's the one yeah Monday problem investigate the problem okay we 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 are investing that problem okay so this one political party yeah okay so we have an older brothers and then we have a crowd and this we shop here from the path that means small yeah so like we have an older brother and a small crowd and it means a political party i mean like that's kind of a sense right because like brother role, role of brothers like they usually very likely to have conflicting relating who got to ascend and ascend to the throne right or who get the who get the crown yeah so my mnemonic for this one is like the fashion of the older brother chose the small crown as the party uh, symbol. Yeah, the party symbol. <laughs> it pretty strange to me that like the party symbol for the two major parties in America is like the elephant and the donkey. Yeah, like I I don't think there is any elephant in America like. Natively, yeah, I, elephant seem like an animal that is uh, in Africa, yeah. And then why the donkey? If I think of the donkey, it's more like a symbol of something being foolish, right? So not sure why they pick the donkey. It would make more sense like they pick the hawk or like a more noble animal, yeah. So that is pretty strange to me, yeah. So yeah, political party. Okay. Kawaru. Uh, to change, right? Yeah, to change. To change. So we have Kairu and then Kawaru. And one is Jassitif, one is Injassitif. Please uh, don't ask me which one because at this point in time, I have no idea. Okay. Shingo ga ao ni kawarimashita. ไอ้ชิงโกงาออนี่ขวาริมาสต์เชนจ์โอเคดิสวันนี้เดอะทราฟิกไลท์เนี่ยซิงเกิลอีสเดอะทราฟิกไลท์โซยาไอมีนเด
are those who can get get the number five out of the lottery box yeah number five can get yeah <laughs> okay that is for me so yeah it's pretty amazing that number and trust somehow turn into traffic light like I don't see any connection so I mean also in this sentence we have the AOE here so previously if we enter the is AOE right so it is an adjective but today, today on this sentence only AOE and it is a noun and also because it is the traffic light it is not the color blue right it is the color green instead and uh, according to the dictionary if you use this with like the hair or the fur then it is it meaning will be turned into the color black yeah so we have this one can here it could mean blue it could mean green and then it could also mean black right <laughs> you know <laughs> So the chance that one can give multiple meaning and then the meaning have nothing to do with each other is going very very strong right now. <sighs> okay, moving on. Uh, this one is the president, okay? Yeah, president. So yeah, president and long, okay. Obawa Chisana Kaisha no Shacho des. And okay, and then president of a small company. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's correct. Zen koku. Oh, uh, zen in everything and koku in country. Okay, everything in the country, the whole country. Okay. 次は全国のお天気です。Next is the national weather forecast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 地域. Uh, land, right? Land, land and land. I mean even more land. Land and region. Uh, what, what, what was it? Definitely have land as in earthquake. And then the other is region. Yeah. So it's steam region. So I guess this is also a chain, right? So we have a vocabulary that makes up two kanji. And then both of the kanji mean the same thing. Yeah. I guess there is nuance between them, but they mean the same thing. So more or less. And then the vocabulary that we are talking about, it means that same thing as well. Like the one for investigate, for example. Yeah. So both words mean have a meaning that investigate or something similar. And then the whole vocabulary is investigate. This one is similar as well. This one is earth, right? As in earthquake. And this one means region, and then it becomes region. <sighs> okay, so for the radical makeup, this is the earth, this is the spear, and this is a box. And I guess this is uh, number one. Yeah, so the name is like the cost of hiring a spearman. To protect the region is one box of silver, I guess. Um, one box of silver, or it could be one box of paper. Yeah, paper used to be a currency or like, yeah, paper. Okay, that's good work as well. Yeah, silver is too much, but uh, one box of paper is reasonable. Yeah. Uh, this region. A lot of rain, okay, a lot of rain. Juyo. Juyo. Oh, okay, this one means important, yeah, important. We have one kanji that means heavy, and the other kanji that means uh, need or require, right? Uh, Isuyo or something. No, no, just uh, iru, 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 okay, iru. Yeah, okay, yeah. And uh, Koe, we are looping here, so yeah. So I said previously that I play tennis. So naturally, I think I also browse the Reddit, uh, the tennis uh, subreddit for my news about tennis. 
And just as I have cut back on my tennis, my actual tennis playing time, I also have been making cut back on uh, browsing the subreddit. I mean, um, it's an alright place. It is fun to read the comment before, during, and after an uh, important game. Yeah. And on the subreddit, there's also a lot of uh, trivia and uh, statistics. Yeah. Uh, one of the my one of my favorites trivia is the fact that uh, Alexander Zverev didn't manage to win against anyone in the top ten during Grand Slam for a very long time. Yeah, and the first one he the first win he managed was uh, was against Alcaraz. Yeah, I mean although it is fun, it is still kind of like a social media, I guess. So if you do not uh, watch yourself, it could very quickly become a huge time sink. Yeah. So in addition to cutting back on my actual tennis time, I also have been cutting on my time used to borrow the subreddit. Okay, nine, uh, five point nine. Saying something is easy or difficult to do using Yasu, Yasu and. Ni kui. Okay, yasu ni kui. Okay. It is a soft, easy lesson on how to transform verb into adjective describing whether that action is easy or difficult. Okay, basically it consists of changing the verb into the stem and then adding yasu for easy. Okay, run easy or like eat easy or something. Yeah, and then ni kui for hard. Okay, so like ring hat or sing sing hat okay and then the result become a regular e adjective pretty easy <laughs> okay so maybe there's some some like hidden hidden rule that make it not so easy okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. example go no ji ma yo me you me, me good. This handwriting is easy to read, or like this letter is hard to read. Okay. Cup, ko ka ka ke ka ke te ru is cup thêm. Okay. Ka ke te ru wa bi ru yo đi yo mi ya sư cup thêm là easier to drink than beer. Okay. That's why yo đi is attached to the word that at the lesson level, you know, comparison, okay. As an aside, be careful with me, ni, kui ni, because uh, is whatever this is. It's a rare use, rarely used an adjective meaning ugly. Okay, so like, not pleasant to look at, so hard to look at, and it become ugly. Okay, so in a sense, I guess it's still following the same logic. I wonder if it's just consonant that difficult to see and actually sound exactly the same. Okay. Of course, you can always use some other grammatical structure that you have already learned to express the same thing using appropriate adjectives such as mujikashi for difficult, yeah, sashi for simple, right? And then, uh, uh, don't know the other two, the last, don't know the last two, okay. The following two sentences are actually right length and limiting. Okay. So no need to wear that be. Need to eat meat is hard to eat. And then the second is so no need to oh that be to know where the act of eating this meat is difficult. Okay. Okay. Fair, 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 fair. Nine, come on. Variation of need to eat gà tai and Zurai, Zurai, okay. Or Zurai, Zurai, okay. The kanji for Nikui actually came from Mujikashi, which can also be read as Gatai, okay. As a result, you can also add a voice version. Gatai as a verb suffix to express the same thing as Nikui. Nikui is more common for speaking by Gadai is more suited for writing medium, okay? So it is a formal way of saying it. Saying you hate something. 
so he said oh like saying you hate something you saying like you have a disposition against something yeah maybe something like that yeah Nico intend to be used for physical action while Gada is usually reserved for less physical action that don't actually require movement However, there seems to be no hand rule on which is more appropriate for a given verb so such as searching for both versions in order to ascertain the popularity of a given combination You should also always write the suffix in hiragana to prevent ambiguity in the reading Okay Yeah, another more causes horizon of stem plus niku is to use zurai instead which is a slightly transformed version of uh, surai that is not to confuse with the same karai which means spicy I mean so this is more like slang is right so more less less formal than even the neutral form level formal so yeah, I see. Okay. Okay. Next thing, try point ten. More negative verb. <laughs> okay. With the uh, nine days, z, n, and n. Okay. We already learned the most common type of negative verb, the one that is nine. However, there are a couple more different type of negative verb. The one you will find most useful at the first two which express an action that was done without having done another action okay the other is fairly obscured for or useful only for very casual expression however you will run into them if you learn Japanese for a fair amount of time the other one doing something without doing something else okay way back when we learn how to express a sequence of action and this works fine for both positive and negative verb. For instance, the sentence I did it and then I went to sleep would become ta be na ku te ne ne la ne ta. However, this sentence sounds a bit strange because eating doesn't have much to do with sleeping. What we probably really want to say is that we went to sleep without eating. Okay, without eating. To express this, we need to use a more generalized form of the negative request we covered at the very end of the giving and receiving lesson. In other words, instead of substituting the last e with today, we need only append day instead. By the way of not eating, I go to sleep and it becomes I go to sleep without eating. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe let's see if it really is like that. To indicate an action that was done without doing some action at day to the negative of the action that was not done. Okay. Example, Nanimo ta be nai de ne ma sta. Went to sleep without eating anything. Nanimo ta be nai de. Yeah, it really seems like it means something like by the way of not doing something and then you do something. And it means to do something without to do something else. Actually, that makes logical sense to me, so yeah, it actually makes logical sense. Okay, hopefully not too difficult. Another way of expressing the exact same thing is to replace the last nine part with Z. However, the two exceptions of exception verb, Suru and Kuru become Sezu and Nizu. Okay. It is also common to see this grammar combined with the target ni particle. This version is more formal than nine day and is not used as much in regular conversation. Okay, so the same thing, but expressed in a formal setting. Okay, okay, that's fine. Kariwa nanimo iwazu without saying karite simata went home without saying anything. Okay, okay. Very logical here, so no trouble. Okay. And part two, the casual masculine type of negative that end in n or n. Okay. 
Finally, we cover another type of negative that is used mostly by older men. C9 is so long and difficult to say. You can shorten it to this end. <laughs> okay, that's much of, not much of an uh, abbreviation. However, you can't directly modify other words in this form. In other words, you can't make it a modifying relative clause. In the same manner as before, Siri become Sen and Kuru become Nin. Though I have never ever seen Nin actually being used. Do you have ever heard Suman and wonder what it means except for the other example of this grammar? Notice that Sumima Sen. Oh, okay. It's actually in polite negative form. Well, the plain form would be Suma Nai. Yeah, that makes sense. The further transformation is just Suma. Okay, the word bring up an image of Odisan, but that may be just me. Anyway, it's a main expression. Okay, so to indicate a masculine older vibe. Okay, Suma Nai. Sorry. Okay, Korean. Uh, can't go to or can't go to the to get con si na ku te wa na na must marry a Korean <laughs> okay okay you can even use this line from past tense verb by adding kata okay mi na ki o i ku te si ran I didn't know where I was going today. Okay. And then the final negative verb, a classical negative verb that ends in nu. Okay. Classical. There is yet another version of the negative verb conjugation and it uses nu instead of nine that attach to the end of the verb. Why this version of the negative conjugation is old fashioned and part of classical Japanese, you will still encounter it occasionally okay so like instead of hear me like you you kind of give it an old feeling like say he hit he, uh, he me or oh, yeah I, maybe i's not pronouncing it nothing is right but like he my cold right yeah okay uh in fact, I just saw this conjugation on the sign at the chain station today, so it's not too uncommon. For any verb, you can replace nine with nu to get an old fraction sounding version of the negative. Okay. Similar to the last session, siru become sinu and kuru become ko nu. Okay. Ko nu. You may hear this one being used from older people or your friend if they want to bring back the old day. <laughs> Ye old day. Okay. And, uh, Okay, and that's it. Yeah. Next, do we have time here? Uh, okay. I guess I uh, complete the quota for today. Yeah. So uh, I will stop here for today. Thank you very much for watching. As usual, there's a link in the description that led to today handy diagram along with some other material I think would be useful. If you have a mnemonic about any of the kanji, please don't hesitate to share it. And uh, bye for now. See you tomorrow. Why did you not tell me a little bit? I'm not going to be a secret. That's why I'm a surprise. That's why I'm going to tell you later. I'm going to talk to you later. Yes, I'm going to talk to you later. I can't believe it. I'm not going to be a young man. No, I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you later. I'm going to talk to you later.